Oh my god, the emote also works on screen. That these days is very rare. That's very nice to see. But yeah, here we are. I hope everyone is doing well today. As you can see, we have 198 Nexomon in our possession. Almost halfway there. And perhaps during today's episode, we will be able to actually capture the remainder of what we need to do. Oh, I remember this music. Oh yeah, we swapped to Lazy Cthulhu because we were worried about a boss battle, but the boss battle didn't happen. I remember, and we learned new ability, which is the power of electricity. I'm not entirely sure what will be... What can we use the electricity for? It did say some machinery, but uh, I'm not too sure what that means. Like this, for example, cannot be interacted with. It will be the wolf emote. You love to see it. And thank you so much for the pets. Oh my god. be completely completely honest I actually don't remember what we are supposed to be doing now I know one thing though you can check the journal oh we are headed to the Amelie's uh, thingy magic because we Got the key for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we need to heal? No, we don't. In the first day, in the first battle, one stood. And those that tasted the bite of his sword, they did. Give it biscuit and joy. Nice to see you arrive. The gates are now open. Amelie and Vados must be inside. The mad woman who betrayed our trust. Let's end this once and for all. VIP privileges like that are great. I am glad you like them. There is nothing else to be done in here. So let's proceed through the door and let's see what happens. I see a laser. Bados domain. That's a cool little artwork there. Whoa, what's up with this place? I cannot see anything. Only the security mechanisms are still active, so she's already expecting us. If we corner her, she might desperately release Vados. Be ready for the worst. I am always ready. Oh, it's one of those sections where there are... Teleporting things and such. Uh, I mean, this won't work. Yeah, this this cannot work like this. I need to use a different teleporter, I think. 
let's try this second one. Bring this over here. Oh my god, I didn't realize you could walk uh, underneath here. That makes sense. I've not started great with puzzles to be honest, but uh, we will see how it goes. Well, now we can use only this one. Which takes us over here. I can activate that thing. The issue is, I'm not even sure where we are supposed to like uh, get to. Okay, well, I can activate this, which allows me blame Papa. What the heck? Well, that's something we don't have, so we might as well capture it, you know. Thirty-three percent seems good enough. Hopefully, we will get lucky. We got lucky, you'll have to see it. It's more social Nexomon than Baloompa, but it generally thinks only of travel and adventure. It's completely fine, actually. Okay, we can teleport with this. Which takes us down here. This is a maze. This is back at the beginning, I think. So this is not the way to go. I don't think. So if we go back and switch this... Maybe one of these two can help us. This is a dead end, okay. And this is not a dead end, but a bit confusing. Okay, we can go through here, that's fine. It's a dead end. Oh my god, I am completely bamboozled by this location. I hope there aren't like secrets or anything for which you need to like go through special teleporters. That would be bamboozling. If I switch that on, I am now able to go... Dobby Jater, you know what? We don't have you yet. Therefore, I shall capture you. Once again with 33% chance. Maybe we will get lucky. Let's try again. I need to remember to buy some additional Nexotraps because we are slowly and surely running out. A master of underwater stealth in a river lakes, coasts during heavy rain or fog, it blends in with its surroundings perfectly, waiting to launch its powerful bite. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's send it to the story. Always happy to find some new additions into our collection. 
That actually ty pta jsou worth the 200, tam pretty sure. Yes, nice. I see a treasure. Did we do it? Did we find the exit? We found a greed wallet. Please tell me this is a door. It is a door. Oh my god. Well, it's not the end just yet, unfortunately. We are getting somewhere, though. This could be the end. Can I interact with this? No. Gemaxar. Isn't that the one we have in our team? Currently trying to level him up. We could just capture him and then swap this uh, fella out. I guess that could be a good idea. It will save us some time. Hopefully I won't forget. Okay, this one is actually quite difficult to catch. And I am almost... Uh, almost deceased. A mineral next someone with total control of magnetic fields. The crystal shards around it are like autonomous, independent limbs used for defense. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's move forward. Look over there, that's a warp stone. Now we can heal our next someone and get supplies. Perfect. Because we need to heal. And we need to swap out the... The mineral... Fella. I'm trying to think what would be a good place to do it. Let's go to... Ignatia. If I'm not mistaken, we have some discounts in Ignition. So we can maybe buy some exo traps while we are here, you know. Let me just confirm if it uh, updated in the database. It was a stone type. Indeed, we have the full set. Therefore, we can send Ozu Voltex into the follower list. Let's also put Lazy Cthulhu into the follower list. And let's move Blimpapa into name already because that's an next someone we need to name. And same thing goes with Domigator. Another one we just need to name. There we go. You love to see it. Now we have two empty spots, so let's check what we could maybe evolve that we are missing in our list. We are missing number 31, which I have no idea what it could be, because these three are connected and three three are connected. So it's some next someone that's one of a kind. This one is in our current team, this one is in our current team. It's 
this one we don't have. I think Mosca is in our current team as well, actually. We could maybe go for Xotor. And we could maybe go for Dreadmore. Let's do it. So, Dreamer and Xotor. Let's seek them out. Dreamer and so, Dreamer is over here. I don't see the Xotter, but it should be somewhere around here as well. I see Chibit, which is the First evolution stage, I think. Am I blind? I don't see it anymore. You know what? Let's just equip the uh, Hibit then. It's 21 level, so it should level up rather fast, anyways. You know? It's fine, it's fine. Don't forget to put the experience boosters on these fellas. Also, Vonix will be the main, and Vonix needs level 3 experience booster. It's also very important. There we go. There we go, lovely. Now Chipit sadly can only have one of these and three of these. Because we don't have more level 3s. Now that I think about it, let me double check how much crystals we have. Not enough. Alright, alright. Cannot upgrade the course yet. That's completely fine. Let's go check out the shop. Perhaps there will be something cool to buy. Hello, hello, my friend. Now that Malsimer is gone, we've got more supplies, plus a special discount just for you. I remembered correctly, there is indeed a special discount. Seventy-nine is pretty decent. Let's buy a bun. Like maybe nineteen. There we go. And now we are ready to proceed with the story. So let's do it. Let's teleport back to Cadium Lab. And let's see where this corridor continues. I don't see any items on the floor. Very dramatic music, reminds me of the intro of Conker's Bad Fjord Day. Well, here we are with the villain. It was a very dramatic and slow zoom out. What is my legacy, Gabe Biscuit? You know, decades ago we had a stronghold called Royal City, which was annihilated by the tyrants. Then we lost Solus, the city of sand and stone. 
the volcanic city of old Ignatia was completely erased as well. Then Cadium fell to that idiot. Maybe the frozen tundra is in shambles as we speak. Under my rule, the humans have lost everything. It's my fault that you were born into this miserable world. But no more. Vados, Vados is my redemption. He is the turning point in our history. He will take back everything that the Nexomon stole from us, the humans. I don't care, Amelie. As noble as you make it sound, this monster is anything but redeeming. One way or another, your madness ends here. Oh my god, it's the evil baguette guy with multiple baguettes strapped on his back. Ho ho ho, not so fast, dear. Logan, a renegade of thunder. How can you support a horror like this? So closed minded, not even a chance for the poor Vados. Logan, I allowed you to keep your tyrant just to protect Vados. Make yourself useful and summon it now. As you wish, boss lady. Bolzer, come to me. Like right now, Bolzer. That is the electric type Tyrant Bolzer. It's got very interesting eyes. It looks strong. I mean, I wouldn't say strong, it looks kind of goofy to be honest. Come on, Gabby Biscuit, we must defeat him and make our way towards Vados. What's wrong, Lydia? Where is your tyrant, Eurus? Doesn't Eurus know how to swim, hehe? <laughs> Let's go, Bolzen. Your job is to protect Vados at all costs. This is actually heavily unfortunate because Vonix is a water type. This might end really badly for us. Yeah, this will end very badly for us actually. Let's switch to the steam monkey. Not even better, oh my god. I think this will be my first game over. I don't think there is a point in wasting revives. I think this is a lost cause, to be honest. Yeah. This will be my first loss in this game. Oh my god. I should have kept uh, Cthulhu in my team. Rookie mistake. At least we will get to see what happens when you die. It teleported me out of the door. I guess this means we will need to go through that teleporting section again. Oh well, oh well. Now we at least know that there is a huge boss fight awaiting us. We need to evolve Oceanity as well. So for now... What I will do is I will put Chibit. Oh 
over here. Also forgot to rename him after a follower. Let me quickly fix that. Someone we haven't named before. Let's do three, three of spades. Interesting name. I don't think we have that one yet. Also, we need to rename Driver. Driver could be maybe AJ the Bandit. Let's do it. But uh, yeah, let's put Ocean at the down here because we need to evolve these two. But who will be in our team? Otherwise these are all fully evolved I think, except for Corrupt Shark, we need to fully evolve Corrupt Shark as well. And I think we need to evolve Rosie's poses fully as well. Most likely. Who knows, who knows. All I know is that I need to de-equip the cores from here and equip them over here. Because Lazy Cthulhu will be our main damage dealer in this upcoming uh, boss battle. Vorix will be our second. why I'm giving the XP cores and one of these there we go everybody else should have level 3 that is correct okay, let's heal up I'm ready for the battle now unfortunately we will need to get step through teleporting section again which might take a while especially because I don't remember the pattern but hopefully we can figure it out together current is something we don't have yet so will slow me down a little bit but let's capture it 34% seems like a good enough deal always happy to stop and capture something new Not going too well. Oh my god, I just bought these Nexo traps and really feels like a waste of money when you can throw a bunch and nothing happens. I guess it would be like that in the RNG and so this Nexomon is fast and very competitive. When it reaches top speed, it leaves a trail of static that can paralyze whoever touches it. Interesting little lore piece there. But yeah, I have no idea. Which way is the correct way? I think it was this, maybe.
Okay, I remember this being a dead end. Pyro bomb, steam monkey. I don't think we want that actually. We already have some more powerful fire type moves. Whoops. But yeah, maybe we need to switch this. And that will allow us to do longer journey upwards. There we go. surprised how many Nexomon actually survive instead of getting one hit KO. First evolution of today. AJ the Bandit evolved into Dreadmore. Lovely little evolution. Let's go this way. Okay, I remember this. This is the chest. Yeah, it's the chest. I don't remember how to get to the main door, but we are close. We have to be close because this is uh, somewhere near it. Is this it? It is. Oh my god, we did it. I just realized there was a teleporting crystal over here that we could have used. Oh well. Happens to the best of us. Let me drink some coffee, maybe that will refresh my brain. Let's proceed. I'm pressing all the buttons, it doesn't seem like I can skip this cutscene, unfortunately. <coughs> I do have cough, still. We can skip this since we read it before. There we go. We can also skip this since we see it. The baguette guy arrives with so many baguettes. Six baguettes actually. Why does he have six baguettes? The goofy Uber arrives. And here we go. Moment we've been waiting for. Yeah, this does decent damage. Now it's easy peasy. Perhaps even lemon squeezy. The healing amount isn't too great, to be honest. We are paralyzed. It's not good. I 
might need to start using the bigger potions, unfortunately. But we should be good to go, we should be a victory. There we go, we win. Look at the amount of experience, oh my god. Everybody in our team except for Vonix is about to level up. You love to see it. Duckle is fine. But uh, we don't need it because we got the poison. Psychic armor. No choice over there, but that's okay. You are a fantastic tamer, Gabriel Biscuit. You know, I wasn't there to congratulate you on your promotion to gold tamer, but it doesn't matter now, does it? Once Vados reaches the surface, we won't need tamers like you and me anymore. We will finally be able to rest. You and Vados have nowhere to run to, Amelie. It ends now. Such a lack of imagination, Lydia. And that is your greatest weakness. Listen to me, traitors of the guild, traitors of the mankind. The work of my life lies before you. He is not an Exomon, nay, nor is he a tyrant. He is our future. Wados will slay the tyrants and pur purge the Nexomon. No more walls for our people, no more fear for our children. I am so tired of losing Gabe Biscuit. I am so tired of hiding Gabe Biscuit. I am tired of fighting. This is my last stand. This will be my legacy. I just now realized it's a freaking rocket ship, oh my god. Underwater rocket ship. What is going on? His capsule, it's taking off. She's planning to land with us, he'll reach the surface. Do not do this, Amelie. We will all regret this. And so, the Age of Extinction has begun, I suppose. We have failed. This is it. Amelie has won. That thing, it's outside. It's on the surface now. If Vados turns out to be as insane as the dragons, just how much destruction can he bring? We are renegades now, aren't we? Traitors. Is that Zeta? Yep, it is. Hello, friends. Whoa, look at that. Vados is gone. You actually defeated him. Goodness, humans aren't so bad after all. I misjudged you. He escaped. Oh no. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I should have sunk this place, I knew it. It's all over. It's all over. First, Vados will purge the tyrants. But that's a good thing, let him destroy the tyrants for I our care. Idiots, think about it. Vados will decimate the whole planet just to make sure that the tyrants cease to spawn forever. Boom zap pow. He will burn everything just to eradicate the tyrants. Do you care now, huh? There is only one last thing we can try. I need you to return to the surface, follow me at once. He seems really shaken up. I guess Vados is the real deal. You heard the weirdo, let's follow him, we've got nothing to lose now. 
I will say I absolutely love the fact that the villains of the first game are basically like your allies in the second game. That's something you don't really see too often happen in sequels. And I think it's a really nice freaking uh, addition into the story. Especially since we are learning power-ups from the from basically from the villains of the first game. They are helping us on our journey and such. I think it's very very lovely. I absolutely love that part of the game. Plus it has some like nostalgic value as well since you are not expecting to see characters from 1000 years ago. And then boom, there is a ghost of one of them, boom, there is another ghost. It's just lovely, you know. Lovely little addition. Very enjoyable, in my opinion. This sub will take you to the surface. Keep it biscuit, you must return to the orphanage and tell your mentor what happened, alright. He will know what to do. How do you even know our mentor? Just go, come on. It's a good question, I still have no idea who the mentor is. Oh, we arrived here. I have visual on the renegades. I repeat, the renegades have surfaced. It is as Emily predicted, the traitors are infiltrating the capital city. Well, well, well. Renegade Lydia. So, she has corrupted those poor children. Ross, Nora, Coco and Gabriel Biscuit, you are accused of committing high treason against the guild and the capital. It pains me, but you are hereby sentenced to a lifetime in Lateria. Lateria? That's where they sent all the criminals. This was the shortcut Zeta had for us. That idiot just sent us to Amelie's own city. It's no use. Amelie, she's always a step ahead of us. Oh damn, we got actually thrown into the jail. I didn't expect that. That's funny. Wasn't there... Wasn't there a jail? in one of the Pokemon games. They took away my bag. They are calling me a renegade now. This is your fault, Gabriel Biscuit. Hatch that dumb tyrant egg already. What's taking you so long? What are we supposed to do now? They even took away uh, your tyrant egg. I'm sorry, Gabe Biscuit. I still cannot figure that out. Why did Dina want you to retrieve me? What's my role here? I just don't get it. Materia, this is a mercenary town full of tamers who refuse to live under the law of the guild. It's fascinating, but the guild still hires them for some dirty work, like maintaining this prison far away from the capital. Right now, Amelie must be trying to convince everyone that Vados is harmless, I'm sure of it. If she gets their approval, it will be all over. Don't lose faith, Gabe Biscuit. We have allies outside, don't we? People like Leo and Eliza know about Amelie's secrets. There is still hope. Well, there we go. Hey, identify yourself. Don't you see? 
I am the Almighty Luxa himself. I am also the president of Kadium. Okay, look, I'm obviously very important. I'm here to request the immediate release of Gabit Biscuit and his servants. No, get lost. Very well, I tried to do this as peacefully as possible. But you will now face the wrath of Lux. Ah, I guess being dead made me weaker. Sorry guys, you are on your own. Well, that explains it, I suppose. You got to be kidding me. Happens. Another intruder? Who the heck are you? That is none of your business. Move it. What did you say? Listen here, old tamer. Holy smokes, he completely destroyed both of them. Gabit Biscuits, I heard that you failed to destroy Vados. That is a little troubling. Hey, how did you get here in the first place? To make matters worse, the guards took away your tyrant, eh? It is impossible to defeat Vados without your own tyrant. Also, the lack of music is kind of uh, weird. It is time for some desperate measures. Gabe Biscuit, there is an observatory in this town. You must meet me there. Aren't you coming with us? We need to find a way out first. Worry not about me, Nora. I have my methods. Okay. His methods, your better is rather peculiar. Sorry, I had to take my medication. There we go. But first, let's focus on escaping before the guards realize what's going on. Sounds like a plan. Also, I am getting quite tired of the mermaid follower. Ooh, what was that? Something is going on outside. Let me quickly switch it up, but to someone we haven't had before. Now to be honest, my memory is a bit fuzzy, so I'm not sure which ones we had and which ones not. I don't think this thing followed us before, so let's equip this. Yeah, I don't remember this at all, so that's a new follower for sure. Okay, we are up there. And another cutscene. Get back into yourself. Come and make me fools. This won't end well. By Ulzar, I've never seen so much violence in all my life. Stop. Why are you here? Because of you. Really now, what did we do? You idiots are branded as renegades. The guild is jailing anyone who is even remotely close to you. You are close to us? At least I don't have to see that weird monster anymore. What weird monster? Oh, you don't know? The guild just announced some kind of super dexamon called Wados. So powerful that can he can slay all the tyrants, they say. 
I just cannot stand the sight of him flying around the world searching for tyrants. It's just so creepy. This is bad. We need to move now. Oh, you are escaping. Let me come with you. Can't you just dig a hole to escape? Of course not. They take my tools away. I can see that you have your pickaxe right there. Nah, I don't have it anymore. The developers just don't have the body to draw me without the pickaxe. Well, that's unfortunate, I would say. You could just like... Uh, You could have just say like she picked up the pickaxe in this room right now or something, you know. Guys, we need to find Gabriel Biscuit's tyrant egg. It is invaluable if we want to ever have a chance to defeat Vados. One of the buildings here must be holding our possessions. Let's go upstairs and take a look around, shall we? I guess we shall. But first we will pick up the flare. These two fellas are clipping. For some reason. Yeah, do you see? Whenever I move down and up. These two are for some reason clipping. Cannot speak with them. Could be some superpower maybe. Hidden powers. Oh, we can visit the jail cells. That's nice. Leave me alone. Hey, what was your crime? I love eating cereal without water. There, I said it. Cereal with water, huh? I don't think I would ever try that out. What do you want from me? What did you do to end up here? I didn't take the bus driver. Damn, those are some really terrific crimes. The police caught me playing Macromon. I'm a horrible person. You don't deserve your freedom. I know what you did, Gabriel Biscuit. I know what you did. We didn't do anything. What are you accusing us of? I know what you did to those four Mandalases in the next one, Gabriel Biscuit. Okay, let's leave this guy alone, Gabriel Biscuit. I remember the Mandalases, by the way. That was a truly shocking revelation. They got uh, gobbled up, you know. Hey, sorry, no joke here. The writer is out of gas. Hold on, that is a joke. Let's use that. I swear these Nexomon players have the lowest standards. Apparently. Ooh. This count one shot, that will come in handy. So what did you do to end up in prison? I set a town on fire. Oh. I remember there being... Some stuff on fire in the first game. What, me? I just like anime. They called me a week. Interesting. Well, we got at least the voucher out of it. Lateria. Alright, let's see. Our stuff must be in one of those buildings. We have to avoid the guards, though, be careful. Should 
gonna be too difficult. Hey you, you are not supposed to be here, go back to yourself. Oh my, it restarts us all the way back at the cell every time. Now this will be annoying. Also there is a secret room over here that I didn't notice before. Is there really nothing in here? Oh my god. This really looked like it would hold something top secret, you know. I'm heavily surprised that it isn't uh, holding anything special. How does the hiding ability work in this game exactly? I seem to be bamboozled by what it means to avoid the guards. But I'm sure we can figure it out. One hour into the episode. That works. That's the wrong <laughs> side. There we go. I don't think there is anything on the other side, to be honest. some green wallet out of this adventure. Uh, there are no items on the other side. I am not entirely sure where to go from here, but let's go down. Okay, there is a door over there. Perhaps this is where the items are. Oh, this place looks like a storage site. Hey, shouldn't Atlas be able to tell if the tyrant egg is nearby? It's a tremendously powerful object after all. Hmm, I'll be honest with you, I never sensed anything special about that egg. What? Are you kidding me? It's a tyrant egg. You must be broken, dude. Whatever, guys. Let's check this place out anyway. I agree. Getting across that guy will be difficult. We cannot interact with this door for some reason. That door is also not interactable. This one also not. Okay, seems like in this place every single door is fake. That's unfortunate. Hey, this must be it. This is perfect. With Nadine's power imbued into the egg, we can use it to jump over the walls and escape this place. Let's go outside and find a good spot to use its powers. We also found Elixir, you'll have to see it. Lazy Crypto who is still paralyzed. That's honestly quite surprising. Hey you, you are not supposed to be here, go back to yourself. Oh well, at least we have to act. So it's not like we lost any real progress. 
technically we just took a shortcut back to the surface. Kind of. Sort of. But yeah, this game is very fun. I really like it. We still haven't been down there in that door in particular. I'm not entirely sure how to get to it. To be honest with you. It's the biggest mystery at the moment. can jump over here. Two nature shards. Well, we are out of the... Out of the prison. Have I made myself clear? But sir, I'm a disorders. Now, my authority as good as Abelis, if she can put Gabriel Biscuit here, I can get him out. It's, it's that simple. Didn't they betray your guilt? Why would you release them? This is Lateria, since when do you care about the guild's business? Last time I checked, you were just outlaws, not the guild's lab dog. We pay you to keep our prisoners, and now we are paying you to let them out. Don't think too hard. You guys need to make up your mind. On my authority as Grandmaster, I hereby pardon every single one of them. They are nothing but innocent and naive neighbors. Hey, look over there. They just escaped. How is that innocent and naive, huh? I also pardon them for escaping. I, uh, well, okay, I guess. That's actually kind of funny. Come with me, KB Biscuit. I'd like to have a word with you. How about I first explore a bit more? There do be lots of stuff to do. Also... The guards are gone, so I can go back in and explore that last door we didn't check. Rattle spray. That's interesting. Wait, 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 what is this? Oh, quicker rematches, I see. Interesting, we have lots of stuff in our inventory. I'm not sure how long this game is, but uh, if the collection status is anything to go by, I would say we are halfway through. So we still have ways to go, that's for sure. Oh, it's a uh, cafeteria. Interesting. Nobody talks with us in here. For some reason, they are ignoring us. I'm not entirely sure what's the point of that. Kind of creepy, if you ask me. There is one thing I wanna check before we leave. This room down here is empty. Well, there is nothing to do. For a moment I thought maybe if we have the egg now, there will be like a prompt to do something. But apparently not. It's just empty. Oh well.
let's speak with the gods before we leave. No visitors go somewhere else. Absolutely nobody is allowed inside, period. Seems reasonable. Another nature shot. Those do be rare, so always nice to see one. I hate having to look after these criminals. What could they be plotting? Who knows, who knows? The prison is up ahead. Don't try anything funny. We take care of the guilt's criminals. It's not easy, but someone has to do it. That was a big open area with nothing really going on inside it, but it do be like that sometimes. Hello, Victor 200 this the best. Hello, hello. I hope you are doing well. Alright then, what were you doing in Cadium, Gaming Biscuit? Edward, do you actually believe that Vados is a good idea? Even your own people are skeptical about that monster. That is not for you to decide. Vados is indeed fearsome, but he is also a reasonable creature. You should talk to him sometime. You will doom us all, Edward. Keep it biscuit. I have pardoned you simply because I respect you as a tamer. Your great deeds alone are what have earned you a second chance. <coughs> Excuse me. Please do not waste it on such a silly say. I won't tolerate another misconduct against the guild. Keep your head down for a while, will you? Do nothing reckless. Okay. So he is not on our side, but he gave us a chance to basically do whatever. It's quite interesting. Alright, oh, our mentor wanted to meet with us, didn't he? I heard that the observatory is somewhere to the east. We have a brand new city to explore. And it seems like brand new side quests as well. Well, let's start talking with people. I went to Ignitia recently. Man, that place is a worry. The guild is terrible at defending its cities, don't you think? The guards hate it when I trade with people from Parum, but it's really not against our laws. You are a tamer, right? Then maybe you'd be interested in a super high quality Nexotra. Yes, but no. Huh? I've never seen a tamer turn down an Nexotra like this one. Well, that's because I don't have the required resources. I'll be back. To the north lies Latiria's prison. The guild sends whatever criminals they find there. We don't like the guild, but they do pay handsomely for our services, so... Hey, what do you want? You heard, Edward. This is our last chance to get our regular lives back. You are on your own, Gaby Biscuit. Don't get me involved anymore. Oh, Gaby Biscuit. How are you liking Glateria? The people here are outlaws who refuse to be part of the guild. They are not bad though. They are hunters, make a living out of defeating dangerous Dexamon like tyrants. I need time to process what Edward said. Is Wados really a mistake? Oh, a guilt tamer. Please don't talk to me. The guards wouldn't like it. I work for the guild as an airship mechanic. But shh, don't tell anyone. 
Hey, thanks for getting me out of that place. I don't know what's your problem with Wydos though. He's gonna kick the butt of every single tyrant, and that's a good thing. Please leave me alone. I don't want any trouble with you folks. What's a guild table doing here? Don't you guys have better places to be? Come on. Ooh, what? Might as well activate that straight away. Nothing over here. That's just a skill lady. The people of Lateria don't like the guild and its tamers. Really, I hadn't noticed. Uh, it's like they all share the same brain cell in a way. Hello fellow guild tamer. Good to see on one of my people here. Everyone in Lateria treats me like trash, but you and I can join and be treated like trash together, haha. <laughs> This place is depressing. I am from Parum, so everything in Lateria is just outrageously expensive. I should have planned better before coming here. Do you have any spare supplies? Come on, help a fellow table. Oh my god, that's the most expensive trade I ever seen. But let's do it for the sake of completion. Since we wanna do the 100% completion anyways. You are a lifesaver Gabriel Biscuit, thank you so much. Have a nice day and don't let those Latirian ducks bully you. Hello Gabriel Biscuit, I bet that you are gonna disregard everything Edward said and fight Vados anyway. That's fine, but you cannot win without hatching your own tyrant. Did I speak with this guy? I did. Do whatever you have to do quickly and then let us be, member of the guild. Your people are tolerated in that area, but not for long. Oh hey, I remember seeing you back in Parum. Hehe, <laughs> so you had the guts to come visit Lateria. Yet, people here don't really like guild tamers. Interesting. Baby Biscuit, your mentor requested your presence at the observatory. I don't care how confident Edward is, the same one woman who created the dragons just made an even more dangerous monster. Let's talk later, alright? Alrighty then. Let's check out this very hidden door. It appears to be locked, never mind. Let's go to the healing center. It took ages for Lateria to allow the construction of this healing center in their city. In the end, it worked out for both the guild and Lateria. The guild may be utterly flawed, but we acknowledge their superior healing technology. Those Himalayan salt lamps are incredible. I genuinely wonder how much damage these jokes will cause if this game becomes popular. Wait, what? Oh, I see. It's making fun of uh, salt lamps and such. Lateria exports tons of shards to Parum. This is the right place to become rich if you've got a pickaxe. Nice. I think we should now be out of danger, so let's put Cthulhu back into the... Back into the box. Parent should be in the name ready. And let's equip the Let's equip the Oceanity, I suppose. We 
I should now be able to do what we wanted to do with it, you know. Warix will be the main guy, therefore let's give him all the level 3 experience score. There we go. Set us main. And Oceanity needs to get the remaining energy cores. There we go, perfectly, perfectly set up. Might as well heal since it's free. Let's quickly check out the shop, although I doubt there will be anything we wanna buy. Maybe some food. Let's talk with the people first, I suppose. There is also a small marketplace in the city where merchants like to convert. Some of them sell exotic food items used to capture Nexoma. That's good to know. You will mostly find mineral type and fire type Nexoma nearby. A good tamer should travel to other regions if they want to build a balanced team. Those bullies are charging me almost twice the price just because I'm from Parum. What's their problem with us? Supplies are always low here in Lateria. Our proud warriors never miss a chance to fight against the tyrants. I am sorry Gabin Biscuit, but La the Latirians hate the guild tamers so much that I must charge you extra. This is not how I normally rip people off, I swear. Wait, what? Holy smokes. Those do be some insane prices. Chocolate muffin though. Mm. I wish I could lower the prices for you really but they won't let me. Well, I will avoid going into this shop then. Although the chocolate mufflins did look tasty. I know we are supposed to go to the right, but let's see what's down here. The guild thought it could rule every corner of the world, but look how that turned out. Ignisha is with Shebas and the frozen Tadra is losing the fight. We hold dangerous tamers in the northern prison. Behave yourself or you might end up there. That's fair. I see Shiny. You found Ether. You love to see. And 35 coins as well. Lovely. The guild is so passive. No wonder they keep losing cities. It's just a matter of time until Parum falls, it's sad. We have our barracks to the south, that's where we plan our next attack against the tyrants. You heard that right, we don't hide from them, we hunt them down, yeah. Well good for you guys, you seem to have a nice dinner ready. So, I shall take my leave. Another shiny over here. Elixir. Hey, don't you need to be at the cowardly city of Paru? Why are you even here? Go and hide behind your tall pretty walls, kid. That's rude. I have nothing against the guild, really. There really is no reason for you folks to walk around here. Lateria needs no help. Okay. How do I get over there?
I guess I need to loop around somewhere. Maybe through here. Say, what you will about Lateria? These folks sure know how to trade. Cards, Nexotrap scores, potions, you name it. Barum, yeah, I've been there. It sure looks fancy. But such peace just breeds weakness. I come here to train every now and then. This place sure is rough. Normally I'd prefer the Drake Isles because they've got dragons, but I cannot stand those freaky airships. It's understandable. I am looking really hard, but I don't see any shinies in this uh, household. Man, this place sure bumps me out. Maybe even more than the frozen tundra itself. These stacks only think about fighting tyrants. That's a good thing, of course, but that's all they do. Fight and fight, that's it. Don't even bother buying from the shop if you are not wearing a Latirian sigil. They are gonna charge you a lot more than they should. Latirian sigil is what I need. Alrighty then. It's good to know, good to know. Lateria doesn't like rely on Parum's technology, but their cores are simply too useful. If you got any spare ones from Parum, I sure wouldn't mind buying them. Destruction Core 3. No, 2. Destruction Core 2. I'm not sure if I can afford it. Maybe I can. So, Destruction Core 2. Let's uh, go ahead and take it. Destruction Core 2. I keep repeating it so that I don't forget it. You know how it is. To be like that. With the scuffed memory and such. We can afford one. Which is exactly what we need. And since we are already here, we can also buy this. Which allows us to do... Little swaparoo over here. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Let's go finish up that side quest. Is this a new... No, that's old already then. We were over here. Boom, and boom. Another side quest finish. Whoa! These scores are quite something, Gabby Biscuit. I cannot wait to try them out against that tyrant. Also, I just remembered, wasn't there one more quest somewhere around here that we could maybe do? Yeah, over here. What did you want? Mind shard. How much mind shard do we have? Zero. This will take a while then. 
That's not alright, that's not alright. Uh, did we check this door over here? It appears to be locked. Hey, isn't that Gabriel Biscuit, my guilt buddy? Aha, oh boy, what in the world are you doing here in Lactiria? These folks, I tell ya, they don't like us guild tables, but me and my partner aren't afraid of these stats. So you came here too, Gabriel Biscuit. This is a tough city for tough people, be on your toes. Lateria is doing just fine without the influence of the guild. We have no need for their charity. I have nothing to say to you, Tamer of the Guild. Leave me alone. Okay. I don't like Lateria, but you gotta hand it to them. They sure know how to fight tyrants. When the guild has trouble, they will hire these mercenaries to help out. Let me focus on my training, child. I must be ready for the next tyrant that dares cross my path. Understandable. Oh, I see that you have a guild bag. Poor thing. Don't let those Latirians bully you too much. A guild tamer, aren't you? Don't bother our people. Be swift with your business, please. Okay, this is how we get that way, I see. At the rate the guild is depleting our shards, Lateria will run dry soon. If you have any shards, consider selling them to us instead. I am sure that one day Lateria will need them. Also missing the mind ones. Don't be like that kid, the guild is not worth your time. Okay, so there are two quests in here that require the mind shards. This one doesn't tell, this one doesn't tell. Wow, you've got some nerve showing up here with a guild badge. Want some advice? Don't speak to anyone. Alrighty then. Get out of my sight, tamer of the guild. You are an eyesore in this place. I feel so bad for the tamers of the guild who visit us. But Lateria's hatred isn't unfounded, the guild is really terrible at its job of protecting the world. Just look at the frozen thunder. I don't see any other items in here. Please do not speak to me, Tamer of the Guild, this is not a place for you, please leave. Very well then. I don't see any items in here. Don't waste my time, guild tamer. I don't want anything from you. Welcome, welcome to Lut. Oh, one of those, aren't you? Ah, uh, get out of my house when you can, please. You folk aren't welcome around here. Damn. These people really are filled with hatred, it seems. Rebuilt to walls, they mustn't fall. Greetings, um, you are a guild tamer. Mind your own business, don't test our kindness, love dog of the guild. I guess this is how we get out of the guild then. Okay. That's cool. Let's keep that in mind for the future. I wanna finish exploring the city first. This appears to be locked. I am from the Drake Isles. Visiting Lateria has always been an exciting idea. The neighbors of this place are formidable. No tyrant nor dragon can break their spirit. 
you don't have any items in here for me. Latarians only bully guild tamers, but anyone else is fine. Since I am not a tamer myself, it was simple to rent a place here. Oh well. Another look at the door. Open the door. If you are looking to trade, then Lateria is the place. Uh, all manner of traveling websites come here every now and then. Check out the marketplace. Onigiri. I have nothing for you, girl tamer. Hush now. Well, at least I got some free food in here. That's always nice. Last door. Five coins, not too shabby. Hey, I don't want any trouble with a guild tamer like you. Just leave me be, please. Most tyrants were born because renegades like Jin and Atlanta hatched them from eggs. Can tyrants be captured? Can we use them to our advantage? That would be a good question. This is such a huge place. Is there a way down? There isn't. So let's check what's on this side. Free next Nateria is a mercenary town. We also have plenty of traveling merchants. This is where real adventurers are forged, unlike the puny city of Parum. If you are feeling courageous, you can exit west and then head south to the first ruins. They say that's where an ancient tyrant lies buried. Okay, I will keep that in mind. You are not in the frail city of Parum anymore, Labdok of the Guild. In Lateria, the law of the Guild is but dust. I am watching you, Tamer of the Guild. Behave yourself around here. Everyone is on edge, basically. Why is a guild tamer talking to me? Are you trying to get me in trouble? Okay, these fellas... ...do not wish to speak. The tyrants plague every corner of our planet. We cannot show them any mercy. The Latarians must hunt if we are to survive. That's fair. The tyrants are no match for us Latarians. Who needs the guild when you've got real warriors right here? Oh great, another guild labdo, aren't you? I have no business with you, buddy. Move along. Okay. Empty house. You don't see toes very often, there is nothing to be grabbed in here though, unfortunately. I don't see any items in here either. What is someone like you doing in this house? I am watching you, Tamer. It sure it ain't easy to keep watch around Lateria. We pretty much declared war against the tyrants, so anything can happen. Okay. So, so far we figured there are two exits from the city. I'm not sure which way we will head first. It will be for sure interesting though. No? 
I don't see any items. The unyielding spirit of Materius warriors is what lets me sleep at night. Arum is so laid back. How can they be so ignorant of the tyrant threat? The guild has lost countless cities. We won't be like them. Lateria will be forever. If you say so. Just because you are a guild tamer doesn't mean you can do whatever you want in our city. I'll report anything suspicious to the guards. It is almost impossible to predict which shards lie inside a boulder before breaking it. As a result, I ended up with many shards that I didn't really need. How about a trade for the elements I want? I'll even give you a cool item I found in the caves. Okay, sure. Excellent, thanks for the shard slot. There will always be a fellow Latiria willing to trade shards with tables like you. Well, now we actually have three of the mine shards. I'm not sure if it's enough for one of the quests, but let's give it a try. Where was the... Where was the one? There it is. It's exactly what we need. That's two quests at once. That's how it's done, Gabriel Biscuit. Your shards are in better hands here with us. Amelie and her gang of clowns would waste this precious resource. Lovely, lovely. Slow and steady. Progress is getting increased. Ooh, this place sure is hot. No wonder these fellas are so grumpy, eh? I guess. The barracks are to the south, that's where our leaders be. You better watch your mouth over there, we don't take kindly to guild tamers. I suppose this is the marketplace. And it loops back over here. It's the starting area, so let's do it from this angle. Are you from Parum? In that case, please try to keep that to yourself. This is actually a nice city, but its people resent the guild quite a bit. Of all places, why does a guild ever choose to come here? Kindly leave as soon as you can. Lock the door. Lots of treasures at the top of the mountain. Not entirely sure how to get up there, but uh, yeah. Have you seen the tree of gifts by the immortal citadel? They say that it can grant the wildest wishes. I gotta check it out someday. There are supposed to be lots of things that affect your reputation as a tamer. Stuff like quests, defeated tamers and captured unique nexomon, for example. It all makes you better tamer. Okay. The store charges extra if you are a guild tamer, talk about unfair. If only I could get my hands on a Latirian sigil. A Latirian sigil shows that you are one of us at heart. The chief can give you one at his own discretion, but I've never heard of a guild tamer like you actually getting one. Oh me, I am from Ignatia. I come here to trade the shards that I extract from our caves. 
people here just love to buy that stuff. Understandable. No items in sight. Hey, have you seen the tyrant graveyard? Yep, that's the work of Lateria. Don't mess with, don't mess with us. Oh yeah, there is a huge tyrant graveyard somewhere outside the city. It's uh, creepy, but it just goes to show how mighty our warriors are. <laughs> this cough is really getting on my nerves, to be honest. Ooh. Ninja Companion. We almost have basically the entire set. Somehow. I guess it's mostly just luck. Okay, nothing over there. We got the treasure, that's always nice. This is this he this here is the observatory. Latirian hunters use it to locate tyrants. We get lost, timer of the guild. Observatory. This is where we came from originally, I think. Oh, you are from Parum. Yeah, well, I don't care as so long as you have shards to sell, do you? Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good deal. Very good, yes, good. Thank you for all the shards, Gabriel Biscuit. Let's hope to do business again someday. I travel the world selling every sort of antidote known to man. You see, tamers often underestimate status effects. You'd be wise to buy some medicine now. Ah, my apologies. The guards in Lateria are in front of guild tamers. They would hate to see me doing business with you. Well, that's unfortunate. I am a traveling merchant selling exotic food. Sorry, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This route leads outside our stronghold. You will be on your own from this point. So, this city actually has three exits. Surprisingly enough. will take a while to explore it all. Good to know though, good to know. Let's proceed into the observatory with the main quest. Mine shards are what I need. Donut. Scene. Long, long ago, the king of monsters Omnicron himself tried to overthrow this world with the help of his children. Victory in our grass. So weak, so feeble, the puny humans were at our mercy. Their fate was ours to toy with, and it sure was fun as heck. Oh, how sweet indeed, the age of the Nexomon was about to begin. Along with Father, we would cleanse this world from the human disease at last. Truly, memories to be relished. Good 
but a traitor among our brethren machined our demise. The one with too soft a heart took pity on the lowly mortals. Dina forsook us and did the unforgivable. That little girl doomed our doomed her own kind. The absence of a king drove the Nexomon of the world into madness, which ignited a war among the tyrants for millennia to come. Only a true heir of, from Omnicron's bloodline can bring order and restore the natural balance of our planet. But our king was slain long ago. Omnicron lives no longer. And yet, Omnicron's bloodline lives on. The story goes on. We did not foresee this, but Dina, the great traitor, had a child. She bared a true heir to Omnicron's infinite power, and that heir is standing before me. Yes, indeed, Gabriel Biscuit, you are Dina's son, you are Omnicron's descendant. Oh my god, what a freaking plot twist, we are actually an Exomon. That explains why we don't talk, and why we spin. Oh my god. You are the future king of monsters, our one and true ruler. Oh my god, what a plot twist, what the heck. Are you sure about this? Hurry up, please. My very presence might attract dragons to this place. This building. This is a human orphanage. Dina, you are leaving your own child. Omnicron's heir in a place that reeks with humans. Cape Biscuit will grow with the humans. He must learn to accept them. The future king of monsters, the supreme Nexomon, rotting in a place like this. And I am to pretend that he's one of them? Come on. I'll never allow Gabriel Biscuit to grow wild just like Omnicron. Our father's hatred against humanity will end with Gabriel Biscuit. And how am I supposed to explain to Gabriel Biscuit about his supernatural powers when they show up? The other kids at the orphanage will surely be terrified. Give him this. What? What the heck is this? A tyrant egg? A fake tyrant egg? You will lie to him, tell Gabit Biscuit that his powers are channeled from this object? Good gracious, you cannot seriously think that your own son is dumb enough to believe that. Still, there is one more problem. When Gabriel Biscuit becomes of age, the dragons will realize that he is a tyrant. They will hunt him down over and over again. I would like Gabriel Biscuit to join the guild to ensure his safety. Working with humans will make him see what father couldn't understand. And then one day, Gabe Biscuit will be strong enough to claim Omnicron's throne. A new king of monsters who loves both humans and Nexomon will arise.
You want me to what? It is essential for Gabriel Biscuit to believe that he is a human, Fenerel. You want us to pretend that we are powering up this fake tyrant egg? That's your idiotic plan. I cannot afford to have Gabriel Biscuit figure out his true nature too early. If we are not careful, Gabriel Biscuit will grow corrupted by his sheer power, just like Father did. This is stupid, girl. I won't play fool for you. Come on, Fenrir. If you want Father's bloodline to continue, then this is my condition. You guys will play along. This is our last chance to make a difference. This will be your redemption. That is so hilarious. So I shall take Gabriel Biscuit into thinking that Omnicron's hair is inside that fake egg. Hmm? I'm gonna call it something super dumb like Tyrant of Light or whatever. Tee <laughs> Will you help me, Eliza? Gabriel Biscuit will seek your guidance and I need you to misguide him. That's so messed up. I'd love to see how this develops. I'll have Gabriel Biscuit go and visit each elemental shrine. Then your siblings will teach him how to control his own powers. Fine. Let the act begin. Do you understand now, Gabit Biscuit? Amelie did not make me wrong. Her dragons are indeed perfect. The dragon outbreak from 15 years ago was not an accident, it was caused by your own birth. The dragons aren't insane, they are afraid, they acknowledged you as the strongest of all the tyrants, the true heir to Omnicron. When a dragon attacked you at the woods, we realized that your powers were starting to surface. You were sent on a lame journey to meet us and learn how to control these powers, all under the pretext of hatching a fake tyrant egg. Sooner or later you'll be strong enough to become the new king of the Nexomon, yes, upon your ascension, the tyrants will naturally stop fighting, peace will finally be restored. But alas, Vados was quite unexpected. That aberration is programmed to hunt tyrants until the end of days, including you, my dear. If you are slain by Vados, then Omnicron's bloodline will truly end. There is no telling what would happen to the natural balance of the world. Interesting. What the heck is going on? Wados power from this far away. That creature just keeps getting stronger. Citizens of Parum. This is Wados, the ultimate tyrant. Do not fear, my comrades. For Vados is the child of mankind, forged by science and nothing else. Under our control, he will slay every single accursed neck tyrant that dares stand in our way. His power is limitless and so is our future. We will cower in fear no more. Please stand with me at Vados. Together, humans will retake the world. Excuse me, young tamer. I'm 
Summon to her. It's an emergency. All tamers in the city must meet at the barracks right now. There is no time to explain, alright? Just come with me, the observatory is now closed. Well, this game suddenly took quite the plot twist route, but I love it, absolutely love it. Especially because we are playing as a Nexomon, technically, which is freaking cool, oh my god. What did you say? It is exactly as I've told you. A tyrant has been spotted to the east. The guild will test the extent of Vados' power against that tyrant. You can sit back and relax. You dare mock us? Are we unable to hunt the tyrant on ourselves? This is Latiria, we have slain dozens of tyrants. And the guild appreciates your service, but now you are obsolete. As a token of our gratitude, I come with a warning, stand back. We don't know how destructive can Vados be. Listen up, guild slave. We do not care how powerful your abhorrent Maximon is. This is our turf, and we do as we please. If a tyrant is nearby, we will take it down, like we always do. Your fancy guild and Vados can get lost. Of course. Do as you please, general, but please be careful. Shut up, Edward. Get out of my city. Okay, it's just like we have a quest to do. Travel east from Lateria to fight the tyrant. Oh my. So we will actually battle the freaking tyrant. That's quite exciting. Hey Gabriel Biscuit, are you gonna help the Latarian hunters with the tyrant? I heard that there is a good bounty. Oh come on, didn't you listen to Edward? All we have to do is relax and let Vados do his thing. Whatever, I'm out, don't count on me. You know, he's right. Vados might look all scary, but so far, he hasn't gone berserk or anything. Oh well, it cannot hurt to take a look. I also want to see how Vados fights that tyrant. They said that the tyrant was spotted far east of the city. They did indeed said that. I'm not sure where I am currently, actually. Materia has some of the finest elemental shards, but they are excessively expensive. Perhaps if you can get yourself a Latirian sigil, they'll give you a good discount. Oh, haven't you... haven't I seen you before? Yes. Somewhere near Ignition. My, my. Guild tamers sure are adventurers, exploring every corner of the world. What a waste of time. What's a guild tamer doing here, near our barracks? You should know your place. Let, your, let the youngsters train, they have to be strong to face the of tyrants. Oh, you are Gabby Biscuit, the one who defeated Bullsiber in Indicia, I remember now. Hmm, these rookies could learn a thing or two from you. Okay, they don't speak. Relatable. The guild and the Lateria may have their differences, but we all want the exact same thing, I guess. To defeat the tyrants and push back the rabbit next summer. Those who get a Latirian sigil from the sheath receive a completely different treatment in our city. It proves that you are strong and trustworthy. I guess we will get that by defeating the tyrant, maybe. If 
you have to speak with Latarius chief, make it brief, he is very busy. Another cosmic charm, no idea what they do, but good to have, I suppose. Donut. Always lovely to get some donut. This seems to lead. Is this just a dead end? Seems like it. Spikus companion, you know what? That sounds lovely. Look at that little fella. Oh my god, so spiky. This seems like a dead end with a side quest and a tamer fight. No way, how did you find me? Give it up. I am not returning to your anti-poisons. Oh my god, it's that guy we rescued in the desert. This is a perfect matchup actually. This is also pretty good matchup. There we go. Another perfect matchup. You love to see it. Victory is ours. And somehow every single Nexomon in our team is about to level up. Every single one of them. Oh my god. That's a uh, ability we don't need. That's also ability we don't need. Cyburst on the other hand could be useful I think. Maybe... Hmm. Let's replace the Psychic Barrel, I suppose. Ice Flakes are pretty good. Better than this. There we go. No. Fine, fine. I guess I picked a fight with the wrong tamer. Here, this should be more than enough to repay you. 300 coins. Are we good now? I want more. What? Are you some sort of attack? Here, take this and leave me alone. 200 coins. I won't bother you ever again. Leave me alone. I want more. What the heck is your problem, kid? This is all I you are getting from me, period. 100 coins. You've got a problem, Gabe Biscuit. I mean, he stole from me first, technically speaking. And uh, he's from a place that overcharges uh, people from Parum anyways, so I figured maybe overcharging him would be fair, you know, and it worked out, he vanished, reduced to atoms, you love to see it. Let's do this tamer battle quickly. Those Latarians, how barbaric, wouldn't you agree? And yet they are essential. They are the only people crazy enough to actively search for tyrants. But that's useless if they lack the unparalleled skill of a guild tamer, like yourself, see? Go on, show me what a real tamer can do. A 
It's an interesting throw. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Okay, we are not very strong against the Streamo. So let's just keep scratching him since it's our water time. Another water type. We should win this. Although it will take a while, it would be easy win. There we go. That was close, we almost died, but uh, we did it. Plasma cannon. Plasma cannon. I guess it's better than the green flow. No way, this is 80 power. It's better than the fauna then. And we got evolution. In today's episode only two evolutions happened. But here we are. That's a fully evolved Frendo. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. You have the best of both worlds, KB Biscuit. The incredible skill of a guild tamer and the unmatched courage of a Latirian hunter. Well, glad to be of service, I suppose. It's the way back to the city. Should I speak with these fellas? I guess I should. No place for someone like you to be goofing around. Nothing to say, nothing to say. Ice peeled, tyrants can attack when you least expect it, they are cunning, never underestimate those beasts. I guess most of them don't speak. Stay away from our weapons, Tamer of the Guild. These are for real warriors to use. Alrighty, alrighty. I need to go visit the healing center. I think it was this way. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. It is over here. So now we can put what Garen said into our follower list. And we can start evolving maybe Corrupt Shark. That could be something to do. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, do it. 
Did I wanna do anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, I know what I am forgetting. The course. That's what I was thinking about. Always forgetting the obvious. I knew I was forgetting something. But that's good, that's good. I guess we can continue doing the quest. This will probably be where I split the episodes though, so... Just so it's easy to remember, let me save right over here. This will be the split, this will be the end of the episode, and uh, see ya in the next one I suppose.